Good morning, guys, and welcome to today's video. Um, I'm having my morning coffee out of my nurse mug that Michelle sent to me. Thank you so much. I love, love, love this mug, and I'm sorry it's taken me so long to film it. Life gets crazy sometimes, says the mug, the nurse mug. Um, but I wanted to just kind of introduce this video. It's going to be quite a few different things. Um, I got an air fryer and with Thanksgiving coming up, I wanted to do a test run with the turkey. So you guys can come along with me and we'll see how that goes. Um, and I've been doing shopping, of course. So lots of haul things. And I think I'm going to do a little bit of decorating with my Ray Dunn for Halloween. So stay tuned. I also have a giveaway going on. I'll link it down below for a Hocus Pocus mug. Okay, guys, so we are um, headed a couple hours to do some shopping. My husband has some guy shopping he wants to do, and I'm hoping we're going to get a stop at Kirkland's. But I'm packing a cooler, and I'm also packing my little food warmer that plugs into the cigarette lighter um, to heat up some pizza that we got. So we got pizza from a local place, and it's the weekend last night and so I ordered a couple of salads extra so um, we could take that with us and then they have this um, pesto sauce that's amazing I got a couple extra one of those because I knew we'd be traveling and so for my husband he got normal pizza this is like I think it's called like a veggie rainbow so we can heat that up in the little warmer. And then I got from a different place, um, they have, because I'm keto, cauliflower crust pizza. So um, planning ahead and trying to stay on track if you're trying to eat healthier. Not that pizza is exactly healthy, but it's definitely better than going through fast food. And I packed my own salad dressing. And then I'm also packing electrolytes and then um, I'm packing my water with electrolytes in it. We're gonna put this in the back seat of his truck with a cooler. Okay, here's a little tip for when you're packing a cooler. It's pretty cool here. It's not like 100 degrees anymore. It's definitely fall here. But um, I used frozen vegetables um, as ice packs where we've been stocking up on meat in our freezer. We just don't have a lot of room for ice packs, so this is kind of a great hack. I put a couple of cloth napkins in there, and then I put some real silverware in a baggie, and then I put like the electrolytes in a baggie, and also um, the sauces in a baggie, so they don't, if they come loose, they don't break everywhere. Now we're packed. This is my lunch on the road. I'm obviously not the one driving. Okay, here we are, um, headed in to Masks On <laughs> um, to do some guy shopping. This is a bag that my husband got um, for some organizational purposes. Super cute. And then we went into Kirkland's. I didn't film in there because there were so many people. I was hoping they would have Christmas out, um, but I did get some really um, cute Halloween stuff. Um and I will share that haul with you here in just a second. Okay, this is my haul from Kirkland's. We drove a couple hours and went in store. Um, so the first thing I got is this mom's arrangement. I've seen this online, but I've had some unfortunate luck with some broken things. And this may have been one that wasn't available online. Um, so it's um, this is like these little containers are white and glass on wood and they're glued down. They have these little handles. And this was $34.99 and I got 15% um, off. And this is like the perfect size for like um, either on my coffee table or on my table. Okay, and then I picked up some Halloween stuff. I really love this. It's like this um, ceramic metal, ceramic, cer not ceramic metal, ceramic book stack. It says, Witch's Brew Potions, Spooky, and Spells. And this was $14.99. Everything I got 15% off. And then I got this cute little Boo Y'all pumpkin. And this was 5 dollars 
and I got a trick or treat and I think it was the same. Yeah, it was $5.99. And then I've seen these mugs online, but they don't deliver. This says happy Halloween, but how like a dog. And then it's got all these little animals, puppies dressed up in costumes. And this is a big mug. I like this cause I can add, I can make keto coffee in it. And it has the same design on both sides. And I got this um, galvanized metal tin. It says premium bat wings. Let's see if we can zoom in on what it says on the bottom. Come on. Um, it says the Hocus Pocus Pharmacy bottled in Old Salem. And this was $9.99. And then last Halloween thing was this light up like jack-o-lantern. It's all metal. I just thought it was so cute. And then um, on the bottom, it has a place that opens up so you can put a candle in there. And this was $19.99. I got some Christmas stuff. They didn't have much Christmas stuff out, but I did get a few things. But I'm setting my Christmas stuff aside. Closer to Christmas, I'll do a Christmas haul. But sometimes you gotta grab it when it's out and when it's on sale. Okay, and then from Walmart, I got these bags of real like gourds and little pumpkins. They were $4.99 each. I thought these would be so cute to decorate here and there and everywhere. Also from Walmart, I got this adorable like pumpkin stack in this these muted colors. I love this and it was um, $10.49 was the total. You can't see that but I thought that was really affordable and I don't have any type of stacked pumpkins. Now I do. Also from Walmart, I got these mums and I just put them in like my um, copper pumpkin that I got from Michaels, which I really want some white, but I just put them in there for now. And they're on this big barrel that I got from Kirkland's. And then I got two little white pumpkins as well. And these were um, $4 each. I also ran into Target, and I, in the um, bullseye spot, I got this broom parking with this, and it's got a little broom on it. I'm going to do a Hocus Pocus coffee bar, and this was $3. And then I also got this um, Spells. It's like a wooden board, and it has a string. It was $3, and I just really liked the look of that. I thought it would be really cool to hang from like a peg shelf in my coffee bar area. Okay guys, I want to show you um, what I did with all my pumpkins and gourds that I got um, from Walmart. So I put a real pumpkin in this cage right here that I made before. And then in this like distressed type of um, container from Pinnaco, I put all my little gourds and then my candle in the middle. I love real pumpkins. Okay guys, I've never been so excited about something. This is from the Reclaim Farmhouse and this whole thing is chicken wire. It's got three big baskets with the chalk on the front and then it has a shelf on the top and then back here it has a place to mount it. I'm gonna mount this in our kitchen. Um, just, I mean, I'm gonna make it cute but I'm also gonna use it <laughs> for storage for things. This is also from the Reclaim Farmhouse, and this is a mountable chicken wire um, for your paper towels. And this bar is like metal. Like This is really, really nice. I don't think you can really tell, but it's like that vintage look, like almost that greenish gray color. Also from the Reclaim Farmhouse, I got this metal jack-o'-lantern, but it looks like a silo. Like the lid comes off so you can put a candle down in there. I thought this was kind of unique. I haven't really seen anything like this in stores. Okay guys, I'm about to show you this lantern I got from the Reclaim Farmhouse. But I've been using this spray away um, glass cleaner. Um, and it goes on almost like a, a foam sort of. This is like amazing. Just wanted to mention this cleaner. Not sponsored. Okay guys, this I got clean now. Um, this is from the Reclaim Farmhouse and I love like the rusty features on this. 
and um, this is a glass like cylinder that goes down in there. I put my candle in there I got from Amazon that's on like a timer. Um, so like you can turn it off or on and um, like once it gets dark I'm gonna set it for eight hours. So you just hit the little timer and then it'll shut off after that. It does have a, um, a handle that you can hang it with. I like that it's smaller and kind of tall and doesn't take up too much room and I like that this is all clear. A lot of the lanterns I have, they don't really put off a lot of light and I want this for on our back porch at night. We sit out there and want to be able to see if there's creatures coming at us. Okay, last thing from the Reclaim Farmhouse. I love this enameled, like black look, but this has like distressing on it. Has this handle, and um, I'm not really sure where I'm gonna use this yet, but it's great for organization, um, for a kitchen, for on a desk, for anywhere. I think its intention is like for silverware and that kind of thing, but this is super nice. Okay guys, I got a couple um, cotton throws. They're almost like quilt material um, from Kirkland's online. Um, let's see, they're very farmhousey. I love this, it almost looks like ticking. Um, so there's this one and then here's this one. These are from Kirkland's online. So I just thought I'd share those with you. They just feel cozy. It got down to 40 degrees last night. Like, this is the best weather ever. I love fall. I also got my first ever cast iron skillet. There's, I've been wanting to make some recipes with my cookbook back here, Magnolia Table, and I also got the, the first one that she came out with, and it calls for a cast iron skillet. So this is from Backcountry Iron, and it came with like this little sleeve around the handle since the handle must get hot. And I got this from Amazon, so I'll link this down below. Okay, guys, I got a box from Pinetco. I got, it's all on the desk here. Um, I wanna show this um, garland that I got. It's like all these different colors. I absolutely love this. Um, I'm gonna leave it in the plastic. It's super long and put it up until I figure out where I'm gonna put it. But garland is super expensive, um, and I think her prices are reasonable. Okay, so I hung this up. This is like this wispy wreath. Um, I have another wreath coming that I'm gonna layer with this from Pinetco. My friend went into the actual store and is bringing me back some stuff. But um, I thought this was just so pretty. It's very, very wispy. Okay, and then down here, this is called the Fall Harvest Box, and it's just like an assortment. It's almost like, here's a bigger pumpkin. So this is what it looks like in there. Okay, so I got the Fall Harvest Box. I already had this little amber glass vase, and then I got this from there. Okay, and then these pumpkins she had, I got all three sizes, so large, medium, and small, and these don't break, <laughs> they're not ceramic. Okay, and then I got this metal pumpkin, which I think is just even more amazing in person. I absolutely love this with this little metal. I think you could hang it, oh my gosh, I love this. Her stuff is so unique. And then just for my kitchen, I got this beech wood brush. Like if you don't have a brush um, to scrub your dishes with, I don't even know what you're doing with your life. I don't know why I waited this long to have one, but this is amazing. I mean, we have a dishwasher, but still, like, sometimes you need to scrub. And then I got some wax melts in Gather. Her Gather smells amazing. Okay, and then I got these for Jillian's wedding, which is in about a year from now. They are like this painted beads with this um, wooden heart on the end and tassels. So I got three of those. And then I got this little stand. It's a stand for a brick mold. This brick mold back here is four, but you could use um, two for one on each end. But I have a one whole brick, not brick mold, um, 
sugar mold, sorry guys, um, that sets down in there. Is that it? I think that's it. That's enough. Okay guys, we're in my kitchen and um, with the holidays fastly approaching, it's only September, I thought I would try this and bring you guys along. So I recently got an Instant Pot air fryer. We'll turn it on so you can kind of see what it looks like. And I we get a lot of our meat from Butcher Box and somehow I got um, a turkey breast from them. Like, I mean, this is a big turkey breast. I'll have to see if I can find the weight on this. But I wanna try this in the air fryer. My dilemma is I really want juice from this to make broth. Um, so let's make a turkey in September. It was like 40 degrees last night. Amazing, amazing in here. Just wanna show you on my table here. I've got my copper containers I got from um, either Blue, Blue Rock Barn or the Reclaim Farmhouse. And then my flower arrangement I recently got from Kirkland's. And um, up here I've got my big dairy sign. Absolutely love it. And then another thing in here that I'm super happy about was this shelf, which has gotten, not shelf, this little thing here that's gotten pretty cluttered, but I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay, okay, okay. No decor. This is serious business. Okay, so this is just my husband and I that are going to eat this. Our kids are all grown up. And so I thought I would try this. I mean, this seems so much easier than doing it in the oven. Um, I know I'm talking a lot. This is what I normally use. I use an oven bag. So, okay. Stop talking, Tanya. Something you're definitely going to need is a meat thermometer. Mine's electronic, um, so you can make sure your turkey's done. We don't want anyone getting sick. If I don't get any juice from this, I have some chicken um, bone broth as backup to make gravy. Okay, I'm just kind of showing you how I prep for this. So I'm keto, so I'm just eating the turkey and um, I'm gonna make some keto gravy to go with it, hopefully. And for my husband, I just opened a can of corn, put some butter and salt and pepper in there, and then cut up some potatoes. Gonna make some mashed potatoes. And then I just have these frozen rolls. I'm gonna make him a couple of rolls. Okay guys, here goes nothing. So I've got my um, turkey breast ready with salt, pepper, and poultry seasoning. I have it breast side down, skin side down. So then we're gonna turn on our Instant Pot and we're gonna preheat the um, air fryer to 350 and the time is going to be um, 55 minutes. It'll tell me when it's, um, oh, and then we got to hit start. Okay, so it's heating up. Okay, so it told me it was ready. We're going to put it in there and it's going to cook. Um, after 20 minutes, I'm going to flip it. So it's set to cook for 55 minutes. Okay, this is my recipe for um, gravy. So I, it calls for butter, and I'm going to need one cup of pan dripping. So hopefully I get one cup. Um, anyways, that's what we're praying for here. Okay guys, this is what it looks like after 20 minutes and I'm gonna flip it. I'm pretty sure I'm not gonna get any drippings for gravy. Sad face. Okay, it doesn't look very appetizing, but this is what it looks like when I flipped it. Okay, just wanna mention when I put it back in there, um, it just automatically started going again. Okay guys, I had, I got smoke in my house. I think my turkey breast was too big. I think my turkey is a bust. The only thing I know to do is to flip it and cook it down um, so it's not touching the top. Okay, so I just cut it in half and maybe that made it flatter. We'll see. Okay, so we're improvising. I took, I took half of it out. And we're definitely, we might get a little bit of drippings for gravy, not much. Okay guys, I found, here is the website. Um, 
This is a gravy recipe without the dripping, so I'm gonna try this. Kind of scroll up. Of course, um, I'm out of paper on my printer, you know, everything's going wrong. But if this is good, I'll link it down below. Okay, here it is carved. My husband said it's good. I haven't tried it yet. Do you like the gravy? Yeah, it's not, yeah. There's our rolls. Here's the gravy and the corn. We just kind of threw everything on the table. Okay guys, here's my final thoughts on making a turkey in the air fryer. Um, I don't recommend it. This came out super, super dry. And maybe someone else has tried this and had better success. Um, it's definitely overcooked. Yeah, so anyways, but I still wanted to upload the footage. It was just kind of fun as I went along. You know, cooking is an experience for sure. This before it falls down. Um, I made this wreath with these little bottles from the Target Dollar Spot. I glued them on with this little glue pot down here. And I've got my potion thing here. Here's my coffee bar. Let's see if I can back up. Okay, so we've got Witch's Brew sign up there. Then the wreath I made with your pick your potion sign inside. And then we've got Broom Parking. That's um, a two whole sugar mold from Pinnaco. And then I got all different kinds of coffee stirrers in there that look like brooms. And then down here on my Ray Dunn potion mug. Um, and then back there is the October 31st um, potion bottle. And then over here, I have my special potion light up bottle I got from Halloween USA. It's one of those places. I've got my Wicked Witch mug on my Keurig. And then I have this cone from Pinnacle with just my um, coffee pods in there. Okay. Um, I want to get this video uploaded. So this is all I've got for you for Ray Dunn. But um, what the heck, I'll span up here. It's not done, but this is what I have up here so far. I'm working on it. This all takes so much time. Um, and then over here in the corner, I'm going to decorate this um, three-tiered tray. It's on this like little metal stand. So that's what I've got so far. Okay, guys, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Turn on that notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. Thank you for watching and stay safe.